actually talk. I think that's like the most silent I've ever started a vlog because it's like 6.30 and the boys, as you saw, are still asleep. Like I go through phases. I go through like 5 a.m. phases, 5.30 phases, 6 a.m. and then sleep in phases, depending where I am in the pregnancy, what's going on in life. But I wake up at six, I have my coffee, I do a little bit of housework. I actually quite enjoy basic housework in the morning by myself when the boys are asleep. I just find it really calming. <sighs> A clean house is great for my mental health. But in my last vlog, I was having severe pelvic pain. Since that vlog, I really have tapered back my workouts. I've changed them up. I'm only doing certain exercises. I'm doing my rehab every single day. So that's why I've got this ball. Honestly transformed my life and how my body feels. My pelvis is still really sensitive and kind of in pain, but I just feel so much better that I'm not in pain living. I can unpack the dishwasher and make smoothies like honestly before I couldn't even walk. Look at that! It is so big. At the moment I've just been doing a sweaty shredder timer. First one there, the sweaty shredder timer because it's just under 30 minutes and for me right now in my pregnancy that's kind of all I feel like doing. And today it has been the worst weather and as you can hear the birds are chirping, the sun is shining. I'm looking very tired. I went to bed way too late but it's fine. But the sun is out. Blue skies and the sun just make my mood, like do wonders for my mood. First sunny day in like two and a half weeks. So I have both pelvic pains just for reference. I get SPD, so I can't like split my legs. I get pain here, but I also get pain in this, it's like an SI joint, I think. So I just have to be careful of here and also here. Welcome to Sweaty Shredder. It actually feels surreal to finally be in summer clothes. No, okay. Like I said, it's been rainy for like three weeks. So Kurt's gonna head to the office. Morning, everyone. And Fox, what are we doing? Chainsawing his desk, clearly. Give me this, I'm gonna chop your arms off. Come here. This is a new thing we have to run. Oh, now you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Fox and I, honestly, we have like no groceries at the moment. So Fox and I are going to go and get acai bowls. Do you want acai bowl, bud? I want a mega dish. Do you want my today. I mean, you're big every day. This chainsaw is honestly the soundtrack of my oh, life. Yeah, no, I, I, I love it because <laughs> he loves it and it makes him happy. But like it is on all the time. Okay, we've swapped to the phone vlogging. You're just a bit sad this morning because you're a bit hungry. I have no groceries at all. Come back. You tell them what are we getting for breakfast right now? A Acai bowl. It's such a beautiful day, but you're a bit heavy. Can you walk for a bit? Yeah. Yep. Pardon? Sad. You're a bit sad, yeah. Well, to be fair, he did wake up pretty early and he hasn't eaten. Like usually he wakes up and eats straight away. You do eat my you eat a big breakfast that mummy makes you, don't you? But yeah, I honestly have like no groceries at the moment, so it's the perfect excuse to go out by the beach.
Now, look, I don't want to sugarcoat this. I see this. me. You can see you? To the viewer, that looks like the perfect beachy Cronulla morning. We went and we got acai bowls. We went and put our feet in the ocean. I went away. It was a disaster, I wasn't it? Are you, are you a bit sad today? Yeah. Are you a bit grumpy? Yeah. We're going through a bit of a phase at the moment where we're just learning how to regulate our emotions, shall we say? Oh, okay. Ears. Cool, they go in your ears. Not in your mouth, they go in your ears. Same thing apparently. My <laughs> Did you say pooey to my <laughs> We had a little bit of a breakdown and it was really hard to get back in the car and get back home. Now we need to have a nap. We woke up already tired, needing to go back to sleep. I tried to put him down. We've gotten up because we need to go to the toilet apparently. So we're just waiting for that to come. And then we're gonna have a nap, aren't we? Why were you upset? I'm sad. Why, why were you sad? I'm be sad that we're doing this. Why were you sad? Hmm. Yeah, they're the grubby hands I'm talking about, for sure. You can take it to bed with you if you want. I'm looking this. Well, you've kind of broken it here. Look, this is the camera I was gonna take and vlog with because it's like small and incognito, but Fox has been playing with it lately, so he thinks it's his. So if I hold it and vlog, it just like doesn't work. Yeah, we need to go to bed. Where do you want to sleep? I'm not good. I'm good. I'm good. I want to sleep. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right, I'm gonna go and change this little boy. Yeah. No, take my little bed. Big boy. I, I want to play at mommy's house. You want to play at mom's house? You are. This is my house. Okay. I think we're delusional. You up. I'm the geeky. I want the geeky. Geek, 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 geek. Fox, you can work after. It's time for sleeping. Geeky, I want geeky. Fox, it's time for sleeping. A few moments later. We are We are high. I'm good. I went for. I went good. I'm big good. I'm big stuff. You're a bit sad. Hi, Cody. Why are you a bit yeah. sad today? I am. Who on the phone to? You're a bit sad, Dad. You're a bit sad on the phone to Dad? Yeah. Why are you sad? I'm a bit sad. Why are you a bit sad? I'm a bit sad. You're not. You're just kidding? Kidding. You're just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Is it? It's going to be really spicy. You're going to cry. It's really chilly. Now we here. Yeah, don't say I didn't warn you. Can I ask you a serious question? Why are you on the bench? A great update of the day. An honest vlog. An honest depiction of a life with a salty, sandy toddler. Did you have a sleep? No. Why? I'm naughty. Why are you naughty? What do you mean? I'm this and naughty. I tried like three times. And like, I'm, I'm actually cool. If he's like outgrowing his naps and like yeah. weaning himself, that's fine. But I'm telling you, in like two hours, it's gonna be rough. He doesn't cope well when he skips his nap. Do you want a wedge of watermelon? Hmm? No. Really? I don't even really like watermelon. It's like the only, well, I'm not really a melon person, but in pregnancy, I've been really liking watermelon. Oh, just a bench, just a bench. Yeah, that's gross, ew. That's gross. One, two, six, two, seven, eight, two. One, not two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, eight, nine. Four, and one, two, three. Four, you Four, 
slimes. Good morning. It's a few days later and boy, do I have some life updates for you. Do I start with the heavy? Well, it's not really heavy. It's like not the best news. Let's just start with the lighthearted really quickly. I, I thought I was so organized. By the way, if I look like I haven't slept in years, it's because I haven't. We'll get into the story time in a second. I need to put the blinds up. It's like seven in the morning right now. I ordered a lamp, floor lamp for breastfeeding because when you breastfeed at like 2 a.m., the last thing you want to do is put the big lights on. Mommy is so silly and daddy is so angry at mom. It was $800 and it's a joke. I ordered this one for the new nursery. Like this will be the baby's nursery and Fox will sleep upstairs in his big boy room. But I ordered this. This is what it's supposed to look like. And this is what we got. <laughs> it's upside down and Kurt has tried to put it together so many different ways. And like, there is no other way it goes. It was $800, Fox. Yeah, daddy angry you. I know, and he's angry at me because he's like, what the heck, Sarah? Daddy funny. You want to make a smoothie? Let's no, go. No. Have one bite and then you can put the rest in. Are we going to make a smoothie or do you just want to eat the banana? I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get a refund or like contact them or something. But it was from Etsy and it was from a Chinese company, which they weren't the best at communicating. Let me tell you, I ordered it months ago. This baby's going to be here and mommy's going to be walking blind and not be able to see. Toddler hack or just life hack really. If your grocery store it's sells so frozen avocado, it's a really great way to get some healthy fat into your kids' food. How good. Okay. What happened the other day when we had to wake you up at midnight? Yeah, doctor to check on Bubby. What when, did you... when, when did daddy go? So I went to my appointment a few days ago with my midwife. She measured me and she wasn't stressed or anything, but she said I was tracking two weeks ahead in terms of my size. She's like, that's not uncommon for your second pregnancy. So my belly is technically the size of a 29 week belly. I was telling her, I'm like, I'm definitely bigger than I was with Fox. Clarification and confirmation in my mind <laughs> that I am big. Okay, let's blend this. There you go. Delicious. Do you make wine? I'll make a green smoothie. It's so hard to know what is normal for your second pregnancy. That's one thing I'm struggling with with this pregnancy. Like, I feel like his movements are so big. Like, they're like stopping me in my tracks. I'm like, am I? Do I have the right date? I feel further along in my pregnancy than 27 weeks. Like, I don't know. I feel different. Fox is vlogging out there. Like he has one of my old cameras. So let's just get ready for the day. I'm actually supposed to be on a photo shoot right now. We didn't cancel it. Kurt and Talia went in my place. I'm hoping I can smash all my photos out tomorrow just because my body is clearly screaming for a break. I'm guessing an arrest. It's all messy. It is messy because I'm doing my makeup. Makeup. Thanks, doll. Okay, you tell me when you're finished playing. Just like my pregnancy with Fox, I get a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions, which is basically your uterus practicing for labor and just like toning your uterus and like practicing contractions. When my Braxton Hicks started at 25 weeks with this pregnancy, I wasn't concerned. It was really similar to Fox. I would get a few every single day. They were really intense, but I didn't really think anything of it because Braxton Hicks are healthy. It's super normal. A few days ago, they started becoming stronger, not painful, but to the point that I would be in a meeting and I would kind of stop talking to breathe through the Braxton Hicks. I didn't really get concerned. I just thought like, wow, strong and really intense. I didn't expect that. At the start of the week, I went and visited my midwife. Like I said, she checked my belly. I was tracking bigger and she couldn't really feel his head. And then two days after my appointment, this is where the story begins, I guess. I woke up that morning and I looked lower and I felt lower. I was gonna do narrow squats in my workout and I felt like there was something in between my legs, like something in my vag. And it honestly felt like his head. I was like, what is going on? My belly was even lower than today. I showed Kurt, he was like, are you okay? Yeah, I don't know. Like there was a lot of people kind of like making me not feel crazy saying like, wow, you have dropped today. Not alarmed, but I was kind of like, mm, 
Okay, I'm just gonna like keep an eye on my body today. I really need to get a new one of these. Squeezing every last little bit out. And I feel like I was even less active than normal. I didn't do like a crazy workout or go for a walk or anything because of my pelvis. I've been like pretty sedentary and pretty chill. So around lunchtime, I'm here shooting Sunny with Georgia. My team are really good. Like my team are always the first people to say like, relax, like take it easy. What can we do to help you? But I don't know, like it's hard when you love what you do and I feel fine. It takes me a lot to call the hospital or like call my midwife. I don't know, I have like that conversation with myself of like, am I just being dramatic? Like, am I just thinking all this in my head? And like, now I know just like listen to my body and like go in and get checked. My mum intuition wasn't signaling, like I felt fine. So Georgia and I are shooting for Sunny and she can hear me breathing through these Braxton Hicks. Like, mum. Yes. Oh, cool. The yelly man. So Georgia just kept asking me like, are you sure you're okay? And I would show her my belly every time I would get a Braxton Hicks. And she was like, I don't know if she was in awe or she was worried, probably the latter. You could just see how tight my stomach was. And these Braxton Hicks were coming regularly. To be honest, I wasn't really acknowledging how regularly they were coming at this point. We had so many photos to get through. Work focused, I guess. And she goes home, so this is like five o'clock. I then had to go to the office because I had a meeting for today's photo shoot with um, my physio, Charlotte. I get to the office around six o'clock and we know we're strapping in for a long meeting. And these Braxton Hicks are not slow down if anything they're picking up Charlotte obviously heard me and she's like are you okay and I was joking being like oh let's hope I'm not having a baby tonight and again like my mum intuition wasn't going off you know when like you know something's wrong I didn't feel like that at all I was like oh it's just been like a big day whatever I was drinking heaps of water because I know that you can get more Braxton Hicks if you are dehydrated so I was drinking heaps of water we ordered Thai like I was eating lots of food I didn't feel like I had pushed my body very hard that day and anyway during this meeting with Charlotte I stood up I I showed her my belly and she was like, Sarah, you have dropped since I last saw you like two days ago. And just like Georgia, I showed her my belly during the Braxton Hicks and she was like, that's intense. Oh, I don't think you have pockets in these pants. But when we get you changed, we'll put pockets on. I know. All right, let's go put some pockets on. And we'll come back. A few moments later. I'm back. So we wrap up our meeting around 10.30 p.m. I'm honestly kind of like waddling back to the car. I'm not in pain. I don't want to use the word pain, but I'm in so much discomfort that I'm like walking back to the car, feeling like I have to hold my belly up, pressure on my cervix. So I get home. I'm super exhausted. I have heaps of water, even though I know I'm going to get up like 20 times and pee. But these Braxton Hicks are so intense. I'm like, I just need to drink loads of water, I guess. So I lay in bed and the Braxton Hicks pick up even more, which is pretty uncommon. Not only did they not go away, but they got more intense. And I started timing them. Like I didn't have my contractions app or anything. I just would look at my phone and I started to realize that they were coming every three minutes. It got to the point with each contraction that I was like scrunching my toes, really, really having to breathe through them and concentrate. It definitely felt like day one of early labor with Fox. I was getting a little bit worried. So I was texting my sister and you guys know my sister is a midwife, but she's not my midwife because she doesn't work at my local hospital. So it's nice having her as like my personal like sister midwife and then I have my actual hospital midwife who she's incredible too. So I was texting my sister and I was like, hey, just letting you know I'm having Braxton Hicks every three minutes and I'm really uncomfortable. She kind of said like, don't be an idiot. Just call your midwife, go into the hospital and get checked out. But I just felt bad because it was like 11.30 PM. It was nearly midnight. Wake up my midwife from sleeping and she would have to come into the hospital. Like, you know what I mean? Like I just, I run through that in my head of like, oh, I'm putting so many people out. Kurt was already awake at this point because he could hear me kind of like breathing through them. I started thinking like, what if this is actually real? Like what if I actually am going into early labor at 27 weeks? We have a friend who went into spontaneous labor at 27 weeks and oh, far out the whole ordeal of like what your baby has to go through and you as a mother have to go through and the NICU and I started thinking am I not taking this seriously like am I going into early labor I think my body went into a bit of shock because I started physically shaking and crying I was trying to speak like I was so fine like Kurt was like you're okay Sarah like we'll just call the hospital 
And I was like, no, I'm fine. Meanwhile, I have like tears streaming down my face and I'm shaking everywhere. So I called my midwife. I told her what was happening and she was like, 100% come in, let's check you out. And then I felt so bad because Kurt didn't want me to drive myself. Different story if this was our first pregnancy, but we had Fox and Fox was asleep at midnight. So we felt, I felt so bad. At nighttime, we had to get you up and you were so confused, but you were so good. And the boys drove me to the hospital and you guys dropped me off. For Uncle coming to my house. Yes. To Uncle like your mommy. Yeah, so Uncle Willie and Emmy drove all the way up and they said, tell the boys to go home. So Kurt went straight home and tried to put Fox back to sleep. Emily and her husband, Will, were gonna come and pick me up. Oh, that one actually has stuff on it. So I probably wouldn't do that. This one has a bit of like shimmer, so you can use this one. So luckily they monitored baby and he was moving and he was happy. And and his heartbeat was great. The baby wins. Yeah, babies do cry. I've been telling him babies cry. My midwife could see my contractions on the monitor and they were coming every three minutes. So my midwife assessed my belly even and she's like, you've definitely dropped in the last two days. And like, she felt where his head was and she was like, I couldn't feel his head two days ago and now it's right there. We monitored my contractions and like his heartbeat for like an hour or so. But the doctor came in, I did a urine sample to check I didn't have a UTI, which came back clear. And then they checked my cervix. So they used a speculum and they look into your cervix. Now they did a swab, which will come back with a protein apparently. I learned all this the other day. So I'm just relaying what they told me. And it will come back with a number, which will indicate how likely it is for you to go into labor. So mine came back with a number two, which is really really low so they were like okay the swab of your cervix doesn't indicate you're going into labor so these contractions are doing nothing and my cervix was closed it was long so this is all really good signs for 27 weeks because my body wasn't responding to the contractions like it wasn't dilating it wasn't getting ready for labor the doctor did say when she was down there checking out my cervix that it looked raw and sensitive so I don't really know what that means. Like I said, I'm really chill with like medical stuff. I don't know. Maybe it's, I'm just very faithful, I guess. I'm just like praying about it, but I'm trying not to stress out about it. I was going to wait to get a pap smear and everything until after I had given birth, but I feel like they've already swabbed my cervix. I should have asked for them to do it then and there, but I'm going to look more into my cervix. Both the doctor and the midwife were not confused, but they didn't really have an answer for me. They just said, obviously I have a really sensitive cervix. What does raw and sensitive mean? Like, like, how can you look at a cervix and see it's raw and sensitive? But yeah, I basically just got sent home. They were like, just keep an eye on it. I wouldn't say they're every three minutes at the moment. But they are just so strong. And he just feels so low. Like... That's basically an update of what was going on. So I was just like really MIA on like Instagram and socials because I was in hospital getting monitored. And I guess I'll just keep you guys up to date if I find more out about like my cervix and stuff like that. Much love, March be baby, be baby. I don't want a big baby, no. Pardon? Wrap me up. Wrap you up like a baby. I feel like I haven't been as open with this pregnancy as I was with Fox, just because like circumstances are different with this baby's yeah. diagnosis and condition that like I'm yeah. really protective over him. But if it comes to my body, like, I'm an open book. I'll tell you everything. Do you want me to wrap you up like a baby? It feels really, really nice to just, like, open up and tell you what's going on. Like, that's what I love doing on my channel, just, like, being raw and honest. If you liked this video, please give it a like because it really supports my channel. And make sure you subscribe because I upload new videos every single week. No wonder why I'm getting contractions. Like, <laughs> you are heavy. I cry for you. You what? I cuddle you. You cuddle me, thank uh, you. Bye. Press the button, press this button here. This button. <laughs>